The film begins with a young and pretty girl named Chong Mo Woon going to Jeju City for her first filming job on TV. She's excited because she got accepted by a television channel. But on her first day of shooting, the director wasn't happy with how she was filming and scolded her. Feeling upset, Mo Moon decided to relax at a cafe. Suddenly, there was a big explosion in the cafe's kitchen, causing a serious fire. Everyone panicked and ran out, including Mo Moon. But there was one man who stayed calm and didn't move, even though the fire was spreading. Mo Moon noticed him and pulled him out of danger. The man became quiet when he saw the fire, and it reminded him of something from his past. This man, Shi Jin Wu, has a disability that made him can't hear or speak well. But despite this, Jin Wu can understand what people are saying by watching their lip movements. Mo Woon was moved when Jin Wu called her artist, a nickname she had just received from someone else. At the end, Mo Woon started learning sign language. The next day, as she was leaving Jeju City, an employee gave her a painting meant for a man who couldn't hear or speak. Mo Woon was surprised that someone appreciated her as an artist. She wanted to meet Jin Wu to thank him, but he had already left. Despite his disabilities, Jin Wu doesn't complain or let them stop him. He's actually a talented artist, good at painting and taking photos. He even teaches art, and his students really respect him. Jin Wu is a great example of someone who doesn't let anything hold them back from achieving their goals. Meanwhile, Mo Woon is back trying out for acting roles on TV. She feels really down when the director tells her she's like a fish trying to run on land, meaning she'll never make it as an actress. She keeps thinking about Jin Wu, the guy she met, who made her feel better. One day at a bus stop, Mo Moon sees Jin Wu on a bus about to leave. She's thrilled, but then the bus takes off without him. But she manages to get Jin Wu's phone number, which makes her happy. Turns out Mo Moon comes from a poor family in Busan, and she has a little brother named Mo Dum who wants to go to Seoul with her. But Mo Moon lies to him, saying she's taking a test in Seoul and can't take him. She wants to make her parents proud by becoming a famous artist. In Seoul, Mo Woon has two close friends, Jo Hun and Ji Yu. They're all trying their luck in the city. One day, Mo Woon went to an art gallery where Ji Yu works. There she unexpectedly bumped into Jin Wu, which made them both happy. Jin Wu then asked Mo Woon to go to a concert with him the next day. He mentioned that a famous music group, Mo Woon's favorite, would be performing. Excited, she agreed to go. The next day, Jin Wu finished his work early before heading to the concert. While there, a little boy who liked Jin Wu's pet cat approached him. The boy ended up entering Jin Wu's house without Jin Wu knowing. One morning after finishing his work, Jin Wu was approached by the police. They asked him to check his house for a missing neighbor's child. The child's mother had been searching for him since morning. The police found the child in Jin Wu's house. Because of this, Jin Wu was taken to the police station and accused of kidnapping. It was hard for the police to understand his sign language so the interrogation took a long time. When night came, a sign language expert arrived and explained that Jin Wu wasn't a kidnapper. After everything was sorted out, Jin Wu hurried to meet Mo Woon as he had promised. But when he got there, she wasn't there. While he was thinking alone, Mo Woon, who had left earlier, returned because she trusted that Jin Wu would keep his promise. When the concert ended, Mo Woon sang beautifully, and Jin Wu enjoyed the music by feeling the vibrations. Jin Wu then escorted Mo Woon home and explained what had happened. Later, Jin Wu met his friend Ki Yoon, who had always supported him despite his flaws. They had been friends since they were kids in an orphanage. During their visit, they encountered a drunk man named Du Hoon. He laughed at a story praising Jin Wu for pursuing his dreams despite challenges. Du Hoon thought Jin Wu as an orphan, couldn't achieve much, and wasn't worth admiring. Jin Wu simply smiled in response. As the night grew late, Du Hoon asked Jin Wu about a fire from years ago. This triggered a mental attack for Jin Wu, leaving him unable to focus or sleep. He then received a mysterious message telling him to go somewhere. The next day, Mo Woon received exciting news. She was accepted to act in a film. She headed straight to the set to start her new role as a maid. Although it wasn't a big part, Mo Woon was grateful for the opportunity. During filming, Mo Woon endured multiple slaps from the main actor, due to repeated scenes caused by his mistakes. Despite knowing it was just acting, she felt hurt by the insults. When her mom called, Mo Moon pretended to be happy, hiding her pain behind fake smiles and tears. She told her mom she was happy, even though she lived far from her parents overseas. Later, Mo Moon spotted Jin Wu nearby. The following day, Mo Moon, who was doing a part-time job at a cafe, got a surprise visit from Ji Yu, her friend from the art gallery. 
Ji Yu offered Mo Wun a job at the gallery, where they could both see Jin Wu. Excited, Mo Wun went straight to the gallery to apply, and the next day, she officially became a gallery guide. On her first day, Mo Wun did great, impressing her boss with her hard work. But walking around all day caused her feet to hurt, because her shoes were too small. Jin Wu noticed and helped treat her scratched feet. As they were about to leave together, they were surprised by Zhou Hun, who came to pick up Mo Wun in a fancy car decorated with flowers. Later that day, while Mo Wun was still at the cafe, she got a message saying she was chosen to be the lead actor in a theater performance that evening. Excited, she rushed to the theater to prepare. When Mo Wun arrived, she got ready to calm her nerves before the theater performance. At 8 p.m. sharp, the show began with lots of people watching, making Mo Wun feel anxious. But she kept her eyes on a man who always supported her. After the performance, Mo Wun quickly found Jin Wu and thanked him for always being there for her. The next day, Mo Wun and Mo Dum traveled back to their hometown to visit their parents. While they were there, a movie featuring Mo Wun aired on TV, surprising their parents. Mo Wun then explained that she didn't go to Seoul to become a civil servant like she said, but instead to pursue her dreams as an artist. This revelation shocked her parents because she had lied, even though they would always support her dreams. After that, they returned to Seoul, with their parents' prayers accompanying them. When they got back to their rented house, Zhou Hun congratulated Mo Wun on her new achievement. That night, Mo Wun fell asleep to Zhou Hun's beautiful singing, hinting that Zhou Hun has feelings for her. The next day, Ki Yun is seen with his wife, who, like Jin Wu, cannot hear or speak. Despite their disability, they seem very happy together, just like any other couple. While coming back from the market, they ran into Jin Wu and Mo Wun. There, Jin Wu introduced Mo Wun to Ki Yun, the woman they often talked about. Mo Wun got along well with Ki Yun's wife, Sodi. Later that evening, as Mo Wun and Jin Wu were walking together, they stumbled upon a piano by the roadside and happily played it. The next day, while Mo Wun was working as a guide at an art gallery with Jin Wu, they were approached by a woman. She greeted Jin Wu, looking like someone he hadn't seen in a long time. This woman turned out to be Sok Yong, who had been a mysterious figure in Jin Wu's life. The story then takes us back to Jin Wu's past. Ever since Jin Wu lost his hearing, he felt like the world was becoming unfair to him. But when he was in college, he met Sok Yong, a student who could understand sign language. Sok Yong became Jin Wu's translator and the first person to truly understand and accept him for who he was. As night fell, Sok Yong seemed upset after seeing Jin Wu and Mo Wun together earlier in the day. Jin Wu too couldn't stop thinking about Sok Yong re-entering his life. Meanwhile, Mo Dum worked as a strict sports instructor at a popular gym. Coincidentally, Ji Yu became one of his students. Mo Dum made sure his students followed strict rules, even requiring Ji Yu to report her food intake. Later that night, Mo Wun received a call from Zhou Hun asking for help. Worried, she rushed to his apartment and found her best friend celebrating her birthday. At the same time, Sok Yong arrived home and heard a whistle that had haunted her since she was a teenager. The next evening, Jin Wu visited his friend Jae Huck's art place and saw Zhou Hun with a gift labeled for Mo Wun. He realized it was Mo Wun's birthday. Jin Wu waited for Mo Wun at a bus stop and then invited her to spend the night by the sea. There, Jin Wu wished Mo Wun a happy birthday, and she surprised him by confessing her feelings. Jin Wu hesitated at first, feeling unworthy of her love, but he also wanted to spend his life with her. Mo Wun was overjoyed that Jin Wu accepted her love. From then on, they enjoyed their time together, filled with happiness and laughter. One day, while Mo Wun was at work, Jo Hun approached her and asked her out. During their conversation, Mo Wun proudly mentioned that she was now officially dating Jin Wu. Upon hearing this, Jo Hun became silent. Meanwhile, Sok Yum visited Jin Wu at his house. They reminisced about their past, revealing that they had a special relationship back in college. They spent a lot of time together, promising never to part ways, no matter what. In the present day, Mo Wun, who never gives up, decides to try out for a film role. Meanwhile, Jin Wu gives Mo Wun a beautiful necklace as a birthday gift. In return, Mo Wun surprises Jin Wu with a bouquet of flowers. While at Jin Wu's house, Mo Wun accidentally comes across a letter Jin Wu wrote to Sok Yong. Later that night, when Jin Wu drops Mo Wun off at home, they're surprised by the unexpected visit of Mo Wun's parents from Busan. There, Mo Wun introduces Jin Wu as her boyfriend, which shocks her parents because Jin Wu has a disability. Back at home, Mo Wun's parents express their concerns about her future with Jin Wu. 
Despite understanding her parents' worries, Mo Wun assures them that her relationship won't negatively impact her future. She believes Jin Wu's strength outweighs any limitations he may have. On the flip side, Jin Wu appears gloomy because he's afraid Mo Wun's parents won't approve of their relationship. Sensing his distress, Mo Wun steps in to comfort him. The next day, Jin Wu's class welcomes a new student named Taho. Meanwhile, at the art gallery where Jin Wu teaches, his college friend Du Hun shows up unexpectedly. Du Hun is surprised to learn that Sok Yong now owns shares in the gallery, meaning she's now in charge. It turns out Du Hun is Sok Yong's ex boyfriend, who she left for Jin Wu. At the same time, after a long wait filled with tears, Mo Wun finally received some good news that she was accepted for a role on a TV show. Excited, she rushed to share the news with Jin Wu. Jin Wu, however, worries deeply. He fears he won't be able to protect Mo Wun because of her disability. But Mo Wun reassures him, saying their love can overcome any obstacles. Meanwhile, Jo Hun gets a visit from a friend who informs him that Mo Wun has landed a role in a 12 episode drama series. Excited for Mo Wun's success, Jo Hun's friend also invites him to contribute music to the show, knowing Jo Hun's talent in that field. Inspired by his feelings for Mo Wun, Jo Hun immediately starts writing a song for her that same night. The next day, Jin Wu went to Sok Young's room to share his plan of holding an art exhibition, where he'll showcase all his artworks. Meanwhile, during a meeting with her team, Sok Young was approached by Du Hun, who was surprised to hear about the exhibition for Jin Wu at the art gallery. Deliberately, Du Hun hinted at Sok Young and Jin Wu's past love story. He mentioned how Sok Young disappeared without a word while they were dating, leaving Jin Wu alone. Du Hun also suggested that Jin Wu's ex might be using his current fame to gain wealth and fame for herself. This news surprised and worried everyone who heard it. When Sok Young's two colleagues came out, they immediately told Mo Wun about Jin Wu's story. Mo Wun was shocked, and her surprise didn't end there. She accidentally saw Jin Wu with Sok Young, preparing things together. This hurt her, so she went to practice guitar as the director had asked. Mo Moon will need to play guitar in the drama she's going to be in, and Jo Hun will be providing the music for it. Feeling upset, Mo Moon confided in Jo Hun about Jin Wu and Sok Young's past. Jo Hun, trying to stir up Mo Moon's emotions, mentioned the possibility of friendship turning into love. But Mo Moon, unaware of Jo Hun's intentions, firmly stated that dating her best friend would never happen. At the same time at the art gallery, Jin Wu was busy preparing for his exhibition the next day when he received a message from Sok Young saying she was coming over. However, for some reason, Jin Wu lied and said he wasn't home. As Sok Young was heading back, she spotted Jin Wu at the art gallery. She felt sad and apologized for leaving him in the past, which had left him feeling abandoned. Sok Young explained that she left Jin Wu because her own father, like Jin Wu, had similar disabilities, which caused her mother to fall ill and eventually led to Sok Young becoming an orphan. Because of this, she didn't want to risk experiencing similar hardships in her future. In the present, Jin Wu is aware of his own worth and isn't upset about Sok Young leaving in the past. He simply wants to maintain their current friendship. Meanwhile, Mo Moon is taking guitar lessons with Jo Hun and is putting in a lot of effort to learn. Afterward, she goes to stay at Jin Wu's house. On that same day, two policemen visit the art gallery to arrest Jin Wu for painting on public walls, which is considered damaging public property. At the police station, Jin Wu has to pay a fine for his actions. At that time, Sok Yong, as Jin Wu's director, offers to pay the fines for him. However, Jin Wu becomes very angry because Sok Yong keeps bringing up his past. He expresses that he doesn't want to talk about his past anymore and doesn't care about what he went through. Since he was a child, Jin Wu has faced discrimination and bullying from others. Even his friends from kindergarten were racist towards him. But spending time with Mo Wu made Jin Wu feel like a new person, free from all the shortcomings he had felt. On that day, Jin Wu's art exhibition finally took place. Only reporters attended the event, broadcasting it live. Many people loved Jin Wu's artwork, with one mother even crying because she was so touched by it. After the event, Jin Wu and Mo Moon took a break and enjoyed the fresh air behind the building. Meanwhile, Sok Yong and Du Hun were arguing by the door. At that time, Du Hun, who is also a painter, felt jealous of Jin Wu's success. He's frustrated with Sok Yong's hypocrisy because she's now supporting Jin Wu to achieve his dreams, hoping to win him back. Mo Wun overheard their argument clearly. Feeling devastated, Mo Wun went home. 
Even as she tried to sleep, she couldn't shake off the memories of the happy moments she shared with Jin Wu. She's afraid of losing him. The next day, Mo Wun and Zhou Hun visited Mo Wun's parents to seek their blessing. Mo Wun was excited because she would soon start filming for her first role as an artist. To ease their minds, Mo Moon and Zhou Hun listened to some music tapes they enjoyed as kids. While doing so, Zhou Hun focused on a photo of Mo Wun's father and another woman. Mo Wun's mother is actually his stepmother. There's a rumor that Mo Wun's biological mother passed away when she was born. Meanwhile, in Seoul, Taho is getting closer to one of Jin Wu's students, and it looks like they're starting to like each other. At night, Ki Yoon advised Sok Yoon to let go of her pursuit of Jin Wu's love. When Sok Yoon left Jin Wu in the past, he was heartbroken. Jin Wu not only couldn't speak or hear, but he also couldn't see because he was so devastated that he often fainted. Now that Jin Wu has overcome his struggles and is determined to move forward, Ki Yoon urges Sok Yoon to step back so that Jin Wu doesn't suffer again. Meanwhile, Jo Hun took Mo Moon to Jin Wu's house. Caught in heavy rain, Mo Hun froze when she saw Sok Yong standing at Jin Wu's doorstep. In the past, Sok Yong was painting with Jin Wu when she needed to use the restroom. But while in the hallway, she heard a frightening whistle. Suddenly, someone grabbed her, and in fear, she accidentally spilled some patrol and paint, causing her to faint. The kidnapper, in a panic, tried to calm himself by smoking a cigarette. However, he dropped it, igniting the spilled gasoline. As the fire grew, Jin Wu, who was still painting, smelled the smoke. Worried about Sok Yong, he rushed to find her. Despite her attempts to call for help, Jin Wu couldn't hear her, so he left unknowingly. Inside the house, Sok Yong openly admitted feeling lonely in the constant emptiness of her life. She confessed missing being by Jin Wu's side and hoped he could accept her again. That night, Jo Hunt took Mo Wun home. When she saw Jin Wu's message, she chose to ignore it. On another day, Jin Wu, confused why Mo Wun hadn't read his message, got drunk for the first time. At that team, Mo Wun, planning to visit Jin Wu, hesitated after recalling the previous night's events. As she turned to leave, she found Jin Wu waiting for her. At home, Mo Wun felt heartbroken when Jin Wu only apologized for replying late to her message, without explaining why Sok Young was at his house the previous night without telling her first. Then, Mo Wun remembered how she always sought Jin Wu's permission before meeting or talking to other guys, and she regretted that he didn't do the same to protect her feelings. The next day, because Jin Wu's artworks were named the best exhibition of the month, Sok Yum gave him a luxury watch. Upset that Mo Wun always ignored him, Jin Wu was approached by Mo Moon, who opened up and wanted to hear his explanation that night. Jin Wu solemnly admitted to carrying a deep emotional wound from the past, and he believed it could only heal if Mo Wun helped him. After a few days, Mo Wun's first shooting finally started. She did a great job acting, and everyone praised her for it. After filming, she was messaging Jin Wu when her colleague interrupted. Jo Hunt came and suggested they go home together, so Mo Moon didn't reply to Jin Wu's message and just read it. On the other hand, Jin Wu, seeing that his message was read but not replied to, got drunk again. Meanwhile, Mo Wun, practicing guitar, remembered the happy times with Jin Wu and felt sad. At the same time, Du Hun met Sok Yong and told her about the true incident during the past fire. In the past, when Sok Yong asked for Jin Wu's help, he didn't listen and went to look for her in another area. Meanwhile, Du Hun, trying to save himself, found Sok Yong unconscious and took her home. Jin Wu kept searching for Sok Yong until a fire broke out in the school and he got trapped inside. After their meeting, Sok Yong bumped into Jin Wu again. Despite Jin Wu's reluctance to talk about the past, she kept bringing it up. Soon after, Mo Wun saw them together, but instead of asking for an explanation, she walked away, choosing to keep her feelings buried. The next day, Mo Wun decided to meet with Sok Yong to talk about recent events. Confidently, Sok Yong claimed that Jin Wu was an amazing artist, and she was the best at understanding and showing his talent. Not only that, but a while ago, Sok Yong and Jin Wu had a misunderstanding that led to them parting ways. Now, Sok Yong wants to make things right by helping Jin Wu. Hearing this, Mo Moon, not wanting to be left behind, stressed that Jin Wu had chosen himself to rise from his difficult times, and she would support him. After their meeting, Mo Moon went to Jin Wu's house to help him prepare paintings for the next exhibition. While there, she stumbled upon a photo of a mother holding her child. Jin Wu explained that he was found in front of an orphanage with that photo, unsure if the woman in it was his real mother. On a quiet night, 
Mo Moon quietly left Jin Wu's house without waking him, leaving behind a letter. In the letter, she explained that she needed to focus on filming and wouldn't be able to meet for a few days. She promised to update Jin Wu once she finished filming. Three days later, Mo Moon met an elderly man, the husband of a woman who had cried at the exhibition, where Jin Wu was emotional. The man explained that his wife had fallen ill since the exhibition. They had a son named Jin Wu in the past, but he disappeared and they hadn't seen him since. The husband, who had wished for a daughter, struggled to accept Jin Wu, and their son left without them ever knowing what happened to him. By the end of the story, the mother provides Mo Moon with the address of where they used to live. Mo Moon, feeling intrigued because their story closely resembled Jin Wu's, rushes to the address to confirm her suspicions. When she arrives, she's astonished to find that the house looks almost identical to the one in Jin Wu's photo. Mo Moon quickly takes pictures and sends them to Jin Wu. After knowing that, Jin Wu immediately heads to the house that same night. Upon his arrival, Mo Moon introduces him to the people who might be his parents. She hopes that Jin Wu will meet them right away to clear up the confusion. After that, things between them start to feel awkward. Mo Moon chooses to suppress her feelings instead of seeking an explanation for what's going on. She also admits that she truly desires a change in their relationship because she wants to live happily with Jin Wu. At the same time, Du Hu pays a visit to Sok Yong, who is unwell. Despite his dislike for Sok Yong's renewed pursuit of Jin Wu's affection, Du Hu acknowledges that he still loves her and is determined to fight for their relationship. He confesses his feelings to Sok Yong and asks her to consider giving him another chance. Meanwhile, after returning from what could have been Jin Wu's parents' home, Mo Woon stays overnight at Jin Wu's house. Before they go to bed, Mo Woon honestly expresses her struggles with communicating through text and sign language. Despite the difficulties, she reassures Jin Wu of her love for him. However, despite her efforts to conceal her true feelings, she finds it challenging, and the relationship still lacks depth. The following day, Jin Wu wants to have a serious conversation with Mo Woon to clarify their relationship. He asked her to listen and understand what he was about to say. Jin Wu felt deeply grateful because Mo Woon had come into his life at a time when he had lost hope of ever being loved. He wanted Mo Woon to know that if she had ever felt hurt by his actions, it wasn't because he didn't care for her. Jin Wu acknowledged that he wasn't perfect, but Mo Woon's presence had brought a sense of completeness to his life. He appreciated her efforts to understand him, but he couldn't shake the feeling that their happiness together might not last. With heavy heart, Jin Wu expressed his desire to end their relationship. Since then, both Jin Wu and Mo Moon have felt a sense of emptiness and sadness in the days that followed. After several months, Mo Moon, now a successful artist, celebrated her achievement by drinking with her best friend. However, despite her success, Mo Moon couldn't stop thinking about Jin Wu. Even when others tried to cheer her up, she still felt sad. As the night grew late, Mo Moon couldn't hold back her sadness any longer and opened up to Jo Hund, telling him everything that had happened. Upon hearing Mo Moon's story, Jo Hund confessed his own secret love for her. He revealed that he had been in a similar situation, still loving someone even though they were far away. Mo Moon, who had known about Jo Hun's feelings, then told him that she wasn't the person he thought she was. Mo Moon also advised Jo Hun to stop spending time with people who always let him down. She sincerely wished for Jo Hun to find someone who could truly understand and love him, without any awkwardness. Another day, Jin Wu finally visited the woman who was believed to be his biological mother. He gifted her a painting because she had admired all of his artwork. During their meeting, the woman embraced Jin Wu affectionately, noting how much he resembled her lost son. It turned out that the woman was indeed Jin Wu's biological mother. Mo Wun, who learned this news from her stepfather, was naturally overjoyed. However, her happiness was short-lived when she realized she couldn't congratulate Jin Wu. Then, Mo Woon finally opened up to her mother about the feelings she had been keeping to herself. Her mother tried to comfort her and offered some advice, telling Mo Woon that even though she had tried her best to understand and love Jin Wu, she couldn't force him to love her back. After their talk, Mo Woon thanked her mother for loving her, even though she wasn't her biological child. Hearing this, Mo Woon's mother fell silent, knowing that Mo Woon was aware of the truth. She responded by saying that she should be the one thanking Mo Woon for accepting her as her own mother, regardless of biology. At the same time, Jin Wu continues to grapple with his sadness, which feels different from his past experiences. While he's lost in thought, Mo Woon pays him a visit, wearing a smile. 
One day, Jin Wu is getting ready to travel abroad for a big exhibition when he unexpectedly crosses paths with Mo Lun, who is also filming overseas. A year passes and now both Mo Lun and Jin Wu have returned home to Korea. One day, Ji Yu and Mo Dum, deeply in love, reached a happy milestone when Mo Dum proposed to Ji Yu with a beautiful ring. Excitedly, they shared the news with their friends and family. After their engagement, Mo Wun visited Jin Wu's house just to spend time with him. Similarly, Jin Wu also visited Mo Wun's house to catch up with her. The following day, Jin Wu reunited with his four students, who were now in relationships. They celebrated his return by sharing drinks together. Towards the end of their gathering, the students invited Jin Wu to watch a theater performance in the city center. They reassured him that they could enjoy the play since there would be a language translator available to guide them through it. Arriving at the theater, Jin Wu accidentally bumped into Mo Wun after a year of not seeing each other. As the evening approached, Mo Wun, aware of Jin Wu's presence at the theater, resolved to express her feelings during her performance. When the show began, Mo Wun sat in the same seat where she first saw Jin Wu a year ago, with determination in her heart. She conveyed the feeling of longing for someone even when they're not physically present in one's life. After the theater ended, Mo Wun searched for Jin Wu, but couldn't find him. However, when she turned around, she saw Jin Wu waiting for her. The film ends with a happy ending as Mo Wun and Jin Wu decide to reconcile and be together forever. The film ends. The moral lesson from this film is always check the cafe's kitchen before relaxing, or you might end up saving someone from a fire and falling in love with them. And remember, true love conquers all, even if you have to bump into each other at a theater after a year apart. Thank you.